All right, I think we're progressing along really well, um, continuing to try to install our base schemes, but also things we've looked at in the off season, uh, like we always do, and implementing all these new players and a few new coaches. So um, really pleased where we're at. You know, I don't know about the tackling part, you know, um, because we, we've stayed away from that from a scrimmage standpoint. You know, we'll do that in the fall much more kind of NFL model that way. But very pleased where, where we're at um, otherwise. Just I know y'all kind of announced what the format will look like Saturday. Do you, do you kind of have what, what y'all those events or skills might be besides the seven on seven? Uh, I would say I, I would kind of describe it as like a Pro Bowl plus, meaning, you know, the seven on seven would look like what you've if you watched the Pro Bowl before, the flag football part. Uh, the players have, you know, um, drafted teams, coaches, players, everything for that. Um, there'll be some um, fan involvement in some different things, fraternity and sorority. Uh, there'll be an obstacle course. There'll be a dunk competition. Um, and there'll be a hot dog eating competition. And Joey Chestnut will be here for that. I like that reaction. So, you know, it should be exciting for people to watch, come see, and and I think it'll be pretty cool for our fans. Appropriate follow-up. How did y'all get Joey Chestnut to, to come to town? Kind of how everybody does nowadays. I just DM'd him. <laughs> Slid in his DMs. I guess if I guess if I'm not mistaken, we're going to talk to, I think, Calipo uh, after this. Just getting him and Julius uh, from Washington just – you know, with the type of offense that they were part of at Washington and them kind of coming here, you know, how have you seen them adjust to it? And just what was the enticing thing about them from the portal side from being part of a award winning offensive line? Well, I mean, it wasn't done on purpose, you know, to get two guys from the same team. We had evaluated them separately um, and they happened to both come. So uh, it wasn't type of a package thing or any of that. And just thought, you know, there's a lot of experience there. They both played really well. Um, and you want at different spots and the versatility of that. So, and, you know, they run a really good offense too. And, um, you know, you know, a program that did things really well. And um, so that's always good, you know, when you can, guys can come from that. And so they're veteran and they fit in well. And, um, you know, really glad they're here. I'm curious, what have uh, what's been the reaction of your players to the format for Saturday? And have you gotten any reaction from uh, your peers and coaching? Well, I don't, <clears throat> we didn't have a big announcement. You know, we drafted leadership, you know, splits on offense and defense. They normally draft the spring game teams. Um, so I explained to them and kind of threw ideas out with them too, uh, you know, different things and stuff. And so I think they were really excited about it. Um, you know, I think there'll be some, it'll be fun, but competitive too, uh, with, you know, neat scoring system. So all those things, you know, if you advance in the dunk competition, when the dunk competition, you get a certain number of points. So uh, I don't know about peers, because I don't think, I mean, maybe I didn't know, know all this was out there. So I'm sure it will be now. Question. Aiden was in here saying he was hampered by it kind of a groin injury that he got taken care of in the off season. just kind of knowing that, just your expectations for him heading into his second season. Yeah, um, you know, he was doing really great. And I think like a lot of kids kind of hit a little freshman wall and we didn't get, he didn't get a lot of opportunities to at one point. And then, um, you know, being injured here as of late, uh, but doing some things out there with us and, um, you know, still think he's going to be a great player for us. We had Aiden today. We talked to Caden last week. Those are two guys that you know, could have hopped in the portal immediately after you guys brought in guys like Juice and additional veteran depth on the roster. What does it say to you when you have guys like that who don't just immediately jump ship? Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying it's going to happen every year because um, things are always changing. I think we've been very fortunate. Um, rarely have we ever had a player leave here that we were trying to keep. Um, and so... You know, I just think that speaks probably to, you know, the culture of the locker room and um, guys, even though they know new guys are coming in that maybe have bigger stats than them and uh, more experience, you know, they're they're willing to stay to be a part of this. And they also know, every, you know, there's open competitions here and 
um, the best players play. Lane, I guess with, with the dunk contest, hot dog eating stuff, um, obviously it seems like there's some effort into making this fun. I mean, how, how important is that when, when you've kind of got this showcase? This how, much, how important is the spring game as a showcase, both for the program, for recruits, whatever? Well, I think if you think outside of the box and you know the traditional way of doing things, which I think it's well known we do, and I think over time the spring game really isn't of much value because if you watch people and what they do, very rarely do they run, you know, unless you know coaches worry about being on the hot seat and want to please the fans. Very rarely do they run more than a few type of plays and schemes um, in it. So I don't know that the traditional spring game really gives you very much from an evaluation standpoint. I think it just was kind of done because it used to be done that way in the book. You know, the NFL doesn't do it. So, <clears throat> um, so we've, we'll see what this is like. Probably a long time. I did the whole red meat thing really it kind of fell off the way. But I do think this guy, I mean, talk about the goat of goats. I mean, I think he took the one year off. And so I want to say it's like 17 straight years otherwise or something to be the world champ at something. So it'd be pretty cool to have him around. Preferred hot dog condiments? Um, ketchup, mustard, pickles. Maybe I'll have one with him. I'll like, you know, relapse. Um. <laughs>